Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm at the community of Davis Ranch, located on the west side of San Antonio, about 25 minutes from Lackland Air Force Base. And the reason I'm out here is because I have clients getting ready to close on this David Weekly home behind me. It's a Wayland plan, and it's really nice. Let's go check it out. This is a really nice community. Um, a lot of military folks that live in this community, uh, very, fairly new. You also do have uh, Pulte and Syntex, but they're not building right in this David Weekly section. This section can be all David Weekly. And they have a nice amenity center too, and elementary schools and middle schools right in this community, so that's very convenient. This house is a five bedroom, approximately 3,300 square feet. I don't know what the base price David Weekly is uh, offering the Wayland plan for right now. And I'm definitely not telling you what my clients paid for it because that's their business to share. All right, let's go check out the inside. All right, we did just do the walkthrough with uh, the construction manager. He does, David Weekly always does a really thorough job with their walkthroughs. But you are gonna see some blue tape on the walls just because we, they are having to bring out the painters to fix some stuff. But you do have big formal dining room space right up front and your office. So nice little office space right up front. Do have a little Cat5 cable, uh, Ethernet cables coming in. Loving the wrought iron on the stairs. You have a good size uh, powder room right up front. Loving the framed mirrors. And this is the great room area. So plenty of space in this room to put your couches and love seats. You have this big wall to do whatever you need to put on there as far as TV wise and stereo stuff. Some great lighting in this room. And look at this island. That's a big island. Really nice granite on there. Nice built-in oven and microwave, both by GE. This is a gas community. So we got your nice five burner gas cooktop. And I love the colors of these cabinets. And of course, no 50-50 sink. We do have a full um, single basin sink. It's stainless steel from buyers who I'm doing this video of. Um, they do make little racks that kind of go in the bottom of it. Just if you want to keep the stainless steel from looking scratched up, I highly recommend getting those little racks that you put in there. But one room we kind of missed already is this cute little room over here for if you're hosting something, you can put your uh, extra food over here, your appliances. Perfect little spot for, well, I would say perfect spot. There's no plug outlet. So can't really put a coffee maker there, but you can definitely put it over here. Or wherever you choose to put it. You do have another little breakfast nook space over on this side. Let's go check out the outside since we're here. Now I did do a video tour for them for them when this was just in foundation, but I did point out that the sun sets back over this way. And as I'm filming it, we're at like, oh, probably close to five o'clock right now, 4.30ish on October, October 5th, 2021. So good size uh, patio, nice covered space with the ceiling fans, lots of good lighting. Definitely want to get to know your neighbor on that side because they have an extra large big green egg. That guy likes to grill and I have a big green egg and I absolutely love it. But that extra large one, that means he can do the big briskets. Oh. This house is plumbed. It's gas, but it is plumbed for a regular grill as well. All 
All right, we're gonna head back this direction first. This is gonna be your utility room. Nothing real fancy to see here. This is gonna be your secondary bedroom, so this is gonna be really nice. Oh, a decent sized one. Let's check out the closet. Yeah, just a closet. Nothing real fancy about that one, but it is kind of neat that this bedroom has its own ensuite. So you're gonna have a full bath, perfect for those long-term guests, and I do like the tile work that's on there. So perfect guest bedroom setup. And then this one, this room leads down to the garage. This, it, this plan does have a three car or two and a half car tandem garage. So meaning they can come in here, you can almost put three cars in, but we kind of tight pulling all the way up. But the tandem garage does give you access to, or give you ability to add workspace, storage space inside the garage. It does have the tankless water heater and plumb for water softener. Ooh, echoey. Ooh, one thing I wanted to point out, if you're considering buying David Weekly Home, <clears throat> they don't put their, like a cheap builder grade uh, garage door opener. In fact, they don't really put a garage door opener at all. So go in mind with it. You could pay a lot for a chintzy one, but I would definitely recommend just putting your own garage door opener in. But uh, yeah, they don't even have the rails up. But keep that in mind. Uh, my favorite garage door openers like the Chamberlain garage door openers, the ones with the LED lights that are on the side, really do a real good job of lighting up the whole garage. All right, let's head upstairs. And if you did get a Chamberlain garage door opener, I know this because I did that. I went through Home Depot and paid like a hundred bucks extra to have them install it. Very well worth that. All right, so I haven't done all the lights in here, but you do have an upstairs room and the toilet seat is left up on purpose this time because they're gonna have to place the lid. They got little chips on them. Just a bedroom up top here. Neat little play space, common area. So if you've got kiddos, this is a really nice setup. It's where they can have their own room upstairs and a common area. And then the other bedroom upstairs. With this one having the full bath as well. So obviously this is gonna be the little bit bigger room of the three, so you put your favorite kid in this room. Now something else that my clients did, they kind of went with just the builder grade lights in there. Uh, no point going nutso on lighting. You can do, get your own ceiling fans afterwards and they're actually pretty easy to install. They're already all blocked for ceiling fans. So you can always save yourself some money just by putting ceiling fans in yourself after the fact. So yeah, these two rooms, they'll share this bathroom. Another one gets their own bathroom. So yeah, pick your favorite kiddo and there you go. All right, let's head downstairs. All right, we are now downstairs. And what everyone's waiting for is the master bedroom. And this is a nice one too. All right, you got a little wrap around. Lots of windows in this bedroom. Nice tree ceilings. This is a big room, I love it. But check out what they got going on in the bathroom. Your big giant soaking tub with a nice ledge around it. So if you wanna have your little glass of wine or scotch, 
you can. Now, they are the mosaic tiles there. They are gonna come back and kind of raise it up a little bit and put that on the windowsill. That's gonna look so nice. But you do have the dual vanities. Both are gonna be adult height, so you don't have to bend over all over the place. A really good size master bedroom closet. You're gonna have your uh, comm center stuff where you put your router and modems in there. Nice shoe racks. And then a beautiful shower. With that same mosaic tile. And that's just the linen closet and there's your water closet. Oh, I see the neighbors got kids back there too. I see the little playroom set. So good to go. All right, one last look at this uh, great room area. Really do like this floor plan. All right, that's going to wrap up tour of this beautiful home built by David Weekly. It is the Wayland plan, a five bedroom, about 3,300 square feet. If you're looking for more information on the builder, the community, or if you're just thinking about moving to the greater San Antonio area to include the Texas Hill Country, feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to leave a link to my calendaring app uh, either in the description or in the comments. That's the best way to schedule time for me with me. As always, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.